Hi all, it's Ed from Racket Ralphs and uh, sorry it's been a while since we've uh, seen you. Um, there's been quite a bit going on uh, at home here and uh, some health issues and stuff like that. Um, so uh, so it's been a while, uh, my wife's not been too well, but uh, thanks for the love and support from uh, uh, some special friends. Uh, I won't name you, but you know who you are. There's been a lot of uh, uh, care and consideration shown while my wife had an operation and is undergoing some treatment. So that's why we haven't seen you for, oh, I guess, six, seven weeks or so, um, but we've got a, a video. First of all, a huge shout out to, to uh, Joe Tully at Tor. One of the coolest logos you will ever see. I love this logo. Um, so uh, this is Tully's Outrageous Royals. Um, and uh, massive shout out to, to Joe, who um, not only had us on his show uh, as a collab, um, but uh, also sent us uh, myself and Ruben uh, a t-shirt each and some stickers. Um, so although you might have not seen us here, we have been on, on tour. Um, and what we'll do is we'll we'll drop a link in uh, in the description below with the link to that video. If you're not subscribed to uh, to Joe and and uh, his channel, then please do jump on it. You'll you'll be able to obviously get onto it via the link to the video. And we were on there um, with Star Lord, our Pied Ultra Mail, and uh, some of our other Ultra Mail projects um, because we were comparing with Joe the um, I guess some of the the uh, the the different signs that you might see in breeding um, either ultra males, which we're doing, or burgundies, which he's got. Um, he's working the burgundy project, particularly the uh, pied burgundy project. Uh, we're obviously into the pied ultra male, as you know. And so we had a, a really cool video. Thanks, Joe, for having us on there. And as I say, if you're not on his channel, jump onto it. Really good. Uh, science-based stuff and there's some some wonderful videos that he's put out there and an awesome t-shirt with as i say one of the best logos i think you'll see in the game so um we uh, a lot has gone on obviously in uh uh in the uh over here at uh, racket ralph's in the several weeks since we've seen you um last time we saw you we were pulling our first clutch and today we are actually pulling clutch number three. Why three? Well, unfortunately, clutch number two slugged out. And I've got some theories as to why that is. And I think it was actually probably our fault. We had a slight temperature spike in uh, one of the racks, which that mum was in. And I suspect that uh, probably the sperm that she was holding, um, unfortunately, probably got a bit too hot. Um, it wasn't a big temperature spike, it went up to about 92, 91.5, 92, but uh, over 90 sperm can can die. And uh, she had seven slugs, unfortunately, um, which is a pity. That was one that we were looking to prove out. Um, our, that was a Enchi um, Pos Het Pied Pos Het Ultra Mel um, paired to a clown, a pastel clown, Pos Het Pied. So we were looking to prove some stuff out there. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait on that one. There is another chance to prove out the mail uh, later on in the season. But we have clutch number three here. And I don't know if you can see down here. We'll look down here. But this uh, mum, who is laid today, uh, it is Monday the 19th of June, um, has just started to come over and to look at me and is a little bit inquisitive. Why? Because we're going to pull her clutch. So... Um, this girl is called the wasp. I'm going to have to be careful because she is definitely eyeing me up. Um, she's just inquisitive, just to explore in because she's got some eggs to protect. Um, she's called the wasp. You can see why she's called the wasp. Some amazing wasp-like markings. She is actually, and I know Rob Barrowclough is quite excited about this clutch, this pairing. Um, she is a... Pastor yellow belly blade we bought her ass, although I suspect she may actually be um, Enchi rather than blade. If you have a look at her head stamp and Ruben can can uh, zoom in there, she's got like the four leaf clo clover, which is often associated with, can you zoom right in on that? Mm -hmm. With um, Enchi and she's also got the wide eye stripes that are trying to join at the back and then coming down wide. Quite both of those are indicative of Enchi. Um, so I suspect she may actually be 
a pastel yellow belly enchi, but we bought her as a blade. Anyway, whichever that happens to be, she is paired to, oh, and she, sorry, she is 100% het for clown. And she is paired to a visual clown, our high intensity orange dream enchi clown. Um, so we are looking ideally here for visual clowns, half of them should be because he's a visual, she's a het. Um, we're looking for ideally some um, yellow, yellow belly clown combos, particularly if we can uh, some high intensity enchi yellow belly clown combos, but could be super enchi, could be blade enchi. Um, not too worried about if the pastel gets passed on, we've got quite a few pastel options, but uh, definitely looking to get yellow belly into the clown. Um, and this girl has a ticket to it, uh, eventually to work towards our Pompeii project. So without further ado, we're gonna uh, pull her. Um, so sh we have to the side here, if you just have a quick look, Ruben, we've got a bath already made up for her. She will go into there. She has been, um, this is actually day number 49. Um, so she is laid one day early. She was due tomorrow. Um, we have a bar for her to go straight into and um, we're going to pull the eggs and I can see there's some good eggs, definitely better than the glass clutch. So am I going to get tagged? We will, Yeah, she's a bit hissy. I don't blame her. We're about to try and take her eggs away. I would rather get her tail, which is wrapped around. It's also right under her head. So. It is not the most convenient place. Okay, girl. Okay. There we go. Right, so looks like we have five good eggs there. Let's just check first of all that she I'm trying not to is empty. Connected. Yeah, I can see she's empty. She's empty. Good, so we have five good eggs. Let's just see if you can zoom in on her. You see the flaming coming up her sides. That's from the yellow belly. She's a lovely girl and uh, five good eggs. So, I mean, we bought her as 100% het and I actually saw what was said to be the father, but we will certainly prove it out with five good eggs paired to a visual clown. Um, so she's gonna go straight in the bath. No soap suds or anything in that yet because she may well have a drink. So we'll leave her in there for about 10 minutes to have a drink if she wants. Um, and then, um, we will uh, go from, from there. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Ruben's phone to uh, hit the lights to try and check. Actually, let's pull them first of all and put them into an egg box. So uh, we will weigh her afterwards, actually. I should have weighed her straight away. I forgot to do that. We'll weigh her afterwards. We're gonna put the egg straight into an egg box. Um, initially I used to weigh the eggs and so there's not really any point. It's not a, any data that I'm going to really use going forwards. Um, I know some people do, but uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to just put these eggs into here. There was one rollout. I will mark the rollout. That is the rollout. Yeah. And we get as much of the tissue off as possible, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's not the end of the world if there's a bit of tissue. It's been shown actually, it doesn't tend to go too bad actually. Just getting some of this off. We'll put the roll out to the side there, I think. Segregation. <laughs> I can cut that bit out if you want. Right, uh, let's hit the light. We've yeah, got some light on in there, but hopefully you should be able to still see. Uh, where's the pen there? So, yeah, I can see good veins. It might be good if we do not that light. It never does show well on the camera. Yeah, it 
Some good eggs there, and there's the. Do you mean veins? Good, good veins there, yeah. So I mean. We'd be surprised if there was eggs inside of an egg. Yeah, we don't want that. It'd be pretty cool though. So. Be very good. Cool. And that's good veins. You can see it a bit better on this one. So I'm just going to leave them as they are. Because we don't know quite when these were laid. I know that she hadn't laid this morning. Um, when I got up at like seven. Uh, veins there, I can see. Yeah, that's got really good veins, that one. Nice. And then let's see the rollout. Oh, that's got good veins too. Yeah. Down there. I'm going to put it there, but I am going to mark it as RO for the roll out. Okay, so we we'll get the lights back on. Okay. Straight into the incubator, and you can see I've got the box set up, which we've put straight into with the Herp Exotics uh, hatch trays. Um, and uh, what we're going to do, they're all separate, um, just to keep some of the humidity in. Let's just check the height of those. That's going to be all right. Yeah. You can probably even push it down a touch. To keep the humidity in, what I do is, uh, because these are not airtight ones, and it doesn't need to be completely airtight, but we put some cling film on just to keep it a little bit more so, and it's purely for humidity. There will be enough air in here for them to be fine. I should have made sure of the... Uh, I'll we'll get this out ready first, probably. Here we go. So just some of that over the end. Take that off. Don't have to be exact. It's just to try and get some of that humidity in. That just goes over, pull that fairly tight over the top, which keeps the humidity in. And then on top of that, just like, that goes there. Double check, there's nothing touching the top. There isn't, is there? That's all good. And then we've got, with the um, these particular trays, if you want to lift them out, they come with these, uh, but they do protrude over the top there. When you, you... Got a bit of a... Oh, that's from last time. That's the weight of it last time. It's fine. Right, so um, that's uh, going to go straight into the incubator. So um, we'll. Uh, I'm going to go and put that in the incubator now, so they don't get any colder. And then we'll come back and we're going to weigh the mum and see what she's weighing, compare it to what she was before, and uh, and make sure she's all washed off so that we can get her back on on uh, food as soon as we can. We're back. Um, so she's been in here soaking for probably 15 minutes. If she has had a drink or wanted a drink, she will have had it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of soap in there and then get some, work the bubbles up with that. We've made, um, we've cleaned out her rub, or freshened that up, that's just the side. So that's all ready to go. Really important whenever you're doing that, that um, you try and get all of the smell away 
uh, of those eggs so that she's most likely to try and get not smell those so you can see we've uh, i've got some bubbles going now um giving her a good clean you can see she's lost weight so she this girl actually did um keep eating we kept her eating pretty well because when she stopped eating rats which is what most of us feed on um managed to keep her interested by having some uh, Maltese, ex, triple, no, quadruple XL Maltese. And actually she continued to eat those for about another four weeks after she'd refused rats. And um, that meant that actually we kept her eating uh, until she last fed on the 17th of April, which is only just over two months ago now. So she actually kept uh, eating until just two weeks before she ovulated, which was really good. Um, she got, especially as she's first time female, um, we got her up to a weight. Her last weight check was, when was it? 17th of April, um, at which stage she weighed just over two kilos. Well, no, a bit over two kilos, two, uh, 2,116 grams. So just over 2.1 kilos, 2,116. Um, I think that'll be all right. She's had a good bath there. So what we're gonna do, is just weigh her, get enough weight on her for now. See what she's weighing now. So if I move that to the side, like that. Get a different one that's drier there. Make sure that is on gram still. Yes, it is. See what she's weighing now. 14.75. Okay, not too bad. So um, she's lost a you know a bit over 600, about 600 and whatever it is, 40 odd grams. But sure, right? Five five eggs, good viable eggs. That's fine. So four seven, four seven four, fourteen seventy four. It's saying now, isn't it? So mm -hmm. let me just put oh, that it's back up to five inches. Fourteen seventy five. Okay, fine. Because we'll that's put all of that on Husbandry Pro shortly. Um, so for this girl now. Um, it's going to be back upstairs into the rack. She's got her nice fresh bed and uh, we will leave her. We, it's feeding day in like three days time, um, two or three days time. So we will try and see if we can get her feed then. Uh, the last one fed after two days. So hopefully this one will as well. But uh, anyway, that's the wasp. And in 60 days time, I think it's 18th of August. Those are due, and that will be, um, is that going to be our first clowns? Yeah, our first clowns that we'll have bred, which would be good. So we're looking forward to that. Let's hope for some yellow belly, high intensity, orange dream combos. Maybe a wrench or blade in there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe. If you've got any comments, questions, drop in below, and uh, we will try and answer all of those. And uh, thanks for joining us, and don't forget to... Uh, to go check out um, uh, Tor as well, um, Joe at Tor. Thank you, see you next time, bye bye.